Hi, my name is George Country, and you can also call me Joker. And I welcome you to solve math. Yes, currently we are treating linear equations on solve math. Yes, today we are going to tackle more questions, so I'll urge you to pay critical attention here. Good. In mathematics, instructions are so so important. So let's look at the instructions. What is the question seeking from us? Good. We have solved the following words. Equations. These are our linear equations. And we are told to solve them. Good. So what do we do? Let's tackle question one. What do you write? You write your solution. Good. Solution. As I always say, solution simply means how you solve the question. The manner you solve the question to make your work beautiful. Good. So what do we have? Let's write the question again. 4x minus 1 is equal to negative 9. 4x minus 1 is equal to negative 9. Good. What do we do? Look, we have negative 1 closer to what? 4x. Right? Good. So because it's negative, you have to add 1 to both sides of the equation. When you do that, you eliminate the negative 1. Good. So let's do that. So we have 4x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to minus 9 plus 1. Yes, we are doing that to both sides of the equation, right? Good. So now what do we have? We have 4x minus 1 plus 1 will give us 0. So just eliminate it. So it's equal to negative 9 plus 1. You are owing 9. Then you go and pay 1. You still be owing. So it's what? Negative 9. 8. I believe you got that one. This is integers. It's simple, right? Good. Now, what we have, we have 4x is equal to what? Negative 8. So what you have 4 closer to x. So you have to divide both sides by what? By 4. So write the equation again. 4x is equal to negative 8 divided by 4 divided by what? 4. Good. 4 will cancel 4. I hope you get that one. 4 will go into 8 how many times? What I mean is 4 times 4 will give you 8. It's 4, 2, 8. And 4 will go into 4 once. That is 4, 1, 4. Right? So what we have? We are left with x is equal to negative 2. It's negative. So don't forget that. Over what? 1. So x is equal to what? Any number over 1 is the same as that number. I believe you remember this. Good. So negative 2 over 1 is the same as what? Negative 2. Good. Now, we can check our answer. How do we do that? Go back to the question you were given. Anywhere you find x fixed in negative 2, and if the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side, then you are correct. So let's write the question again. So we have 4x minus 1 is equal to negative 1. 9, right? So we have 4 minus 2 here, minus 1 is equal to negative 9. I hope you are getting that. Now, 4 times negative 2. If you multiply a positive with a negative, the answer becomes a negative. So... 4 times negative 2 give us negative 8. Okay, then you have your minus 1 is equal to negative 9. Good. Now, negative 8 minus 1. You are owing 8, then you go and owe again another one. It will be negative what? 9. Good. So, negative 9, which is equal to negative 9. Isn't it easy? So, the right hand side is equal to what? The left hand side. This really means that our answer for x is really equal to what? Negative Two. Good. Now, you can pause the video and tackle question two. That is, 3x plus 10 is equal to what? Negative 5. And when we return, we shall solve it. It's solve math.